family has always been my foundation and the center of my being. Um, My favorite memories growing up were just of playing games with my mom, dad, brothers, and sister. In times of stress, nothing calms, comforts, or supports me like my family. And now, I cherish time with my husband, just absorbing the wonder and joy of our two children. I always knew I was lucky, but it wasn't until I had my own family that I fully understood that this close connection to family had not been just luck of the draw, but was extremely intentional. (coughs) Both of my grandparents on my dad's side of the family came from broken homes. Their fathers had abandoned their families to run off with other women, leaving my great-grandmothers to fend for themselves and their children. Independently, my grandmother and grandfather made a conscious resolve that their own families would be different, and it was this resolve that drew them together. They created a legacy of loving and valuing family that has endured for two generations by choosing time and time again that family was their priority. Their foundation has provided me with the stability and support to explore and find out what it is that I love to do. I've had a variety of experiences, but the thread that holds them in common is that I derive joy and energy from learning and educating, um, helping others and using my hands and being active. This thread evolved into a career as a physical therapist, where I'm able to discover how the sum of someone's experiences shapes not only who they are, but how their bodies move, function, and thrive. I'm able to educate my patients and then with my hands guide their bodies to heal. It's a fascinating career and I love it. Five years ago, I had my first child. Before that, I had filled my life already with my roles as a physical therapist and a woman, a wife, a sister, a daughter, a daughter-in-law, and a friend. Adding this new and predominant role of of mother (laughs) had tapped all of my energy reserves. I found it harder and harder to be truly present to those around me, and I found most often that it happened at home. I was busy and tired and overwhelmed, and I couldn't recharge in my most calm, comforting place. To combat this decreased intensity I was feeling, I started a process that I call reinvigoration, where I take those things in my life that I value most, and I choose them intentionally. I began to reinvigorate my life one piece at a time, and I started with my career. I started to see the same connection between personal experience and energy levels affecting the well-being of my patients. There were influences on the stress and tension that they held in their bodies that were reflexive and subconscious but they profoundly affected the way they functioned and healed in response to injury. I was drawn to understand further in this phenomenon and began looking at healthcare from new angles, which dramatically increased the energy that I have to give to and gain from my work. Internally, my reinvigoration began by choosing to be more present to my whole self and not seeing all those roles as independent identities. I strive to find harmony in all of the elements present in my life by changing the energy I expend on them to more proportionate levels. Sometimes I have to compromise, and I can't accept all of the new opportunities I might be drawn to because I have to recognize that I need to keep some energy in reserve for myself and my family. Other times, I have to struggle to humble my independent pride and ask for help and then accept it. Because with this help, I am then able to enjoy little things that help me recharge that I might have felt guilty about before. It also helps me to help my husband have that same time for himself and to be sure that we stay connected as a totally committed, in love, strong couple and that we don't get lost in the chaos. Most importantly, I constantly challenge myself to choose my kids, to reinvigorate my commitments as their mom and be really present to them because I need them to know that they are my most important thing. I haven't found a way to make working and parenting and living any easier or less fatiguing, but what I have found is that by intentionally choosing the fascinating and fulfilling aspects that were already present in my life, it makes the hard times less overwhelming, the joys more present, and I feel invigorated. It's my way of ensuring that my grandparents' legacy will continue as the foundation for another generation.